Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a topless. We are going to be doing two kinds of outfit in this video. We're going to be making a classic topless with any logos and then I'm going to go on to show you how to make a topless and then merge armor onto it. So for our first step we are going to go into, now of course for this first step <laughs> it's magic, <laughs> it always is. So we are going to go into the racing suits and we are going to pick the racing suit that has the logos on it that we want. It can be any of the racing suits, it doesn't have to be the one that I choose. I'm just going in with the um, grey racing suit logos, the classic six nines, and we are just going to save that in our C1 position. Once you've got that saved we are going to head over to the tops and we are going to go into labels. Now inside labels we're going to select the M Misbehave X KM orange hoodie. This one here, I think it's the only orange hoodie in labels, so just the orange one. And then we're going to open up interaction menu and we are going to set the hood to up. The hood has to be up, otherwise it's not going to work. So we're going to save the orange hoodie with the hood up in our C2 position. Now when we've got those two outfits saved we are going to go into standard outfits and we are going to select any standard outfit, I usually use the Chica. This one here. Okay once you've got that set up all we're going to do is open up the interaction menu, we are going to apply a parachute and then we are going to remove it, we don't want any parachutes in this Beth. My C2 console here, you see I load in with a standard outfit, we are going to go from standard to the orange hoodie wait for that to save, drop back out, and then back on our C1 console here we are going to go from our standard outfit to our racing suit, which is the outfit labelled C1. That's all we have to do, we just got to wait for the save circle to finish, then we can drop back out to story and reconnect our net. Now when you load back in here you're going to see this broken invisible torso thing, technically this is a topless. So we're just going to say, well, you see me here save this over my C2K position because you can use this also as a C2K, which is, you know, an outfit that we use to uh, merge our logos onto other tops. So we're just going to save this anywhere. We still need that. We're going to use that again later. Now for this next step, we're going to grab any outfit that has a gun belt or a paramedic belt. We're going to save that in our C1 spot. You see me here, I'm using like kind of a fancy outfit doesn't really matter, it can be a standard paramedic outfit or it can be any outfit that has a gun belt on it. For our C2 outfit we're going to go into the bikinis and we are going to select the black bikini. That's all we really have to do for C2. And we're just going to save this in our C2 position. Oh, I'm sorry. So we have the belt outfit on our C1. And then we just have the black bikini in our C2, that's all that really matters at this point. Okay. Now once we've got those two set up, we're going to open up our interaction menu. We're going to make sure that our parachute bag is set to classic bag. We're going to apply our C1 outfit and then we're going to set the parachute to on. We'll wait for the save circle and then we'll disconnect our internet. On our C2 here we're just going to select the black bikini yeah. outfit and then back on C1 we're going to reselect our belt outfit which will remove the parachute for us. Wait for the save circle to finish again and then we'll drop out to story and then we'll reconnect our internet and then it'll error out and then once you've done that we can load back into a session. Now you see here when I've loaded in I've still got my racing gloves on, I wanted to keep those on to show you that no matter what you're wearing, if you are wearing racing gloves it is going to force your torso invisible. So we're just going to save this here as C1, you may or may not be wearing racing gloves but I mean I am, so you'll see me here remove the racing gloves. I also you know remo remove Whatever. everything else, because I'm going to pretend that I don't have anything fancy you know because I don't know what you guys have on your outfit so I'm just going to you know, remove the IAA badge, remove the gloves, but yeah, as long as you can see the body like this, then your topless is going to work. Now depending on what pants and stuff that you had on your C1, you can keep those, like if you had joggers, you're free to keep those, but I'm, I'm not because, you know, just keep it simple and everyone's going to have something different. So I'm just going to put on the uh, white, you know, the little white panties and we'll take the shoes off and just keep this outfit really simple. So we're going to save this outfit here that we have in our C1 spot. 
which just has the gun belt, the bikini, and the panties, and no shoes. So now we're going to grab our like broken logo invisible torso thingy. And now uh, you see me here put on my spiked cuffs because I always use spiked cuffs because it's kind of my thing. And then we're going to put on the same panties or you are going to block your pants. And then I'm going to remove the shoes as well because my bottom half is the same on both C1 and C2. If you have stuff that you want to keep on your C1, then you will go to my list and you will block that stuff. So in C1, I've got the gun belt with the black bikini and whatever bottoms you have, I've got the panties on with no shoes. And then in my C2, we've got the broken topless with the logos with the same panties and the same no shoes. Now we're going to make sure that our, our bag is still set to classic because we want to keep our logos the way they are. So we are going to apply our C1, set the parachute on. Now on our C1 here, I mean our C2, we're going to select the C2 outfit, which is the broken invisible. And then back on our C1 here, we're just going to reselect the C1 outfit, which will remove the parachute. And then reconnect and blah de blah de blah. Okay, and when you load back in here, this is our topless. It is actually, as it's done. This is That's how easy it is to make a topless. So we're just going to save this. You can save it as a C2K because it does work as a C2K and I find it like one of the most handy because, you know, it's pretty. It's not like an ugly random outfit you've got chilling in your outfits. I'll just put a little bit of a hat on it. I did get sick of BP helmets, so I'm just going to put on the light grey backwards cap from the uh, casino hats. And then that is our classic topless done, you know, with any logos, you can do it with any, that's cool, it's done, it's finished, or you can go on and you can merge shoes and pants or whatever you want onto this, and just, you know, have, have your own little fun with it. <clears throat> now, to make this outfit uh, for armour, we're actually going to, you know, go a do a little bit, we're going to go a little bit, we're doing, we're doing more with it. So I'm going to grab the same outfit that I used from earlier in the video, the uh, gun, the gun, the gun belt outfit. Except I'm actually going to merge straight over these joggers. I'm not keeping the joggers. I'm going to merge uh, cat suit pants on. So we are going to save any belted outfit in our C1 spot. It doesn't really matter what's on it as long as it has a gun belt, a paramedic belt, or you could even use the diamond concedo belts since we are merging pants. For our C2 outfit, we are again going to go into the bikinis. We are going to select the black bikini. We will go into suit pants and we are going to select the green slacks. Now they are going to merge over everything except for the gorka pants, the scuba pants, or the, you know, those tight sport legging thingies. So whatever you're wearing on C1, they should merge over. Also to this, we are going to apply the heavy armor because we want that to end up on our C1 outfit so that we can merge on our armor later. So this is our C2 outfit set up. We have the uh, black bikini under there, although you can't really see it, you just gotta, you just gotta trust it. Now, if you want, if you want to change your catsuit pants into adversary colored, you can just save any catsuit pants, although you can save any catsuit pants anyway, but I'm going for the gray catsuit pants, so I'm going to grab the catsuit the grey catsuit and save it in merge. Just like you see here. And then I'll show you once again my setup. We've got C1, we've got this gun belt outfit. And then for my C2, we're going to merge straight over the joggers with the green slacks. We've got our black bikini on there, we've got our heavy armour on there. And then in our merge spot, we've got the catsuit. If you're not using a catsuit pants, you'll have, you know, whatever you want, whatever pants you want in merge. So we're going to make sure that our bag is set to classic. We are going to apply our C1 outfit and we are going to set the parachute to on. We'll wait for the save circle to finish and then we'll just connect our internet to our C1. On our C2 here, we're just going to select our C2 outfit, which is this really ugly green outfit, but that's all good. And then back on our C1 here, we're just going to reselect our C1 outfit. You know, save circle, story, reconnect, error out, and then load back on. Okay, once we're back in a session here, you'll see that my joggers have flipped to green. That means that they have defaulted and they are ready to merge. So if you, you know, if, if you see that or whatever you've got, it's going to be really difficult for me to explain that to you, but 
Mine is ready to merge, so I'm just going to enter it's a G thing. Or I think there's active verses at the moment, if you, you know. But we're just going to go over to our merge outfit and back to current, and then that should pick up the pants for us. Just like that, we've got our catsuit pants with our armor and our bikini. I'm still wearing racing gloves, but I will take care of that later. We can just head to our office or our apartment and save that over our C1 spot. Once you've got that saved in, in C1, you can just, you know, quit the job through your phone and it will dump you back into a session. Now when it dumps you into a session, you're wearing the outfit that you entered. You just have to open up your interaction menu and reselect C1 and then that's what you will see. Now if you wanted to keep the shoes that were on your outfit, you can. I'm not actually keeping those. But you see me here in the footage just remove my IAA badge because, you know, I'm pretending I don't have anything fancy. What you have on C1 will depend on what you had on C1. If you're keeping it, all good. If not, you know, don't worry about it. And then I'm going to remove my racing gloves just so that I can see my body because if we put racing gloves on it, it's going to force our torso invisible. So there we are, no gloves. This is our C1 outfit pretty much set up, except that I'm going to use the uh, all black backside skate shoes just because they're, you know, nice and simple. Although if you wanted to keep whatever shoes that were on your C1, you can. Now I figured I might as well show you how to put gloves on this as well. So whatever gloves are compatible with the black bikini, you can, you know, put onto your topless outfit. I'm going in with the grey fingerless gloves, although I do partially wish I used black, but that's all good. You can use the ones that are your preference. And this is our C1 outfit set up, which is cool. Now, once you've got that saved, we're going to grab our, you know, our broken C2 topless -y thing. And then through the interaction menu, you are going to apply the same gloves. And I'll show you a little trick here because the um, armoured gloves do bring in the topless for us. But I mean, if you don't want to keep the armoured gloves and you start that way, so you might as well just. So now we are just going to apply the grey fingerless gloves to both outfits. Whatever gloves you have on C1, you've got to put on C2, you know, just in case they try and merge or you lose them or they flip colour or whatever. So we'll make sure that those are on the, uh, those are the same on both outfits. Now, if you want to change your catsuit pants to adversary, you will go to my list and you will check out the slacks under unselected pants. But for me, I'm just using uh, brown digital cargos just to keep my catsuit pants grey. We don't have to worry about the shoes in this Biff because we are using Israel bag in this Biff because we need to merge our armour. So this is our C2 outfit set up. Again, I am pretending that I don't have any coloured armour. If you have a coloured armour that you'd like to use, you know, pink, purple, green, orange, white, whatever, you can save that and merge. But I'm just going to go into Heist Sloppy. I'm going to select the Alta. I'm going to open up the interaction menu and then we'll just chuck on the grey armour. You know, because it goes with the outfit. And then we'll save this in our merge position. Now the thing with this Beth, because it's Israel bag, it is going to default your logos. There is like literally nothing you can do about that. As long as an Israel bag touches logos that are on C2, they're going to flip to white. So we are going to lose these 6-9 logos just, you know, to merge our armor. But that's still cool. I mean, you know, once you get your topless and your armor together, you can, you know, merge your, um, you know, off logos the old fashioned way. So we are going to make sure that our parachute is set to Israel bag. We are going to select the C1 outfit and we are going to set the parachute to on. We'll wait for the safe circle to finish. We'll do, uh, cut our net to our console one. Now my C2 here, we're just going to open up our interaction menu. We will select our C2 outfit, which is the, you know, broken topless -y thing. Wait for the safe circle to finish, then we'll drop out to story. And then back on our C1, once we've logged out on C2, we can, you know, select our C1 outfit and then we'll wait for the safe circle to finish and then we will reconnect our internet and then it will error out where we can enter a new session. All right, now when we load in here, you'll see that we've got our topless with our catsuit pants and our logos have flipped to white, although if you're already using white, you wouldn't necessarily know that. But once that's, you know, together, we can enter another It's a G thing or, you know, versus mission, whatever your thing and then we can go over to our merge outfit and then back to current. It will pick up the armor for us and it will slap it on our outfit. 
So this is our outfit pretty much completed. I must have forgotten to put the spiked cuffs on C2, but that's okay because we can just add those later, which I think I actually do. We can just save this anywhere because it's pretty, it's, you know, it's finished. So we can just quit that job, we can drop out into a session, and then we can, you know, decorate this as we like. I just go ahead and put on, you know, a charcoal bulletproof because it matches. It matches perfectly. And then you'll see me here apply the spiked cuffs, and it's done. Now, if you have questions about this outfit, because, I mean, a lot of people are going to be using a lot of different things, then, you know, you can hit me up in the comments, or you can find me on my socials. My links to my socials are in the description. My link to my site with my components is going to be in the description as well, you know, just in case you're using different parts. But, I mean, thank you for, you know, watching this this video and making these outfits and uh, you know thanks for watching i love having you here you know that you know that thank you